Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Let me see if I can open this. I don't know what's wrong. Okay, here we are. Let's see. Finally, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened, but it started acting up. Let's see who else is around. Hmm. Uh, Juan Carlos, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, here, a little bit bored. And well, uh, also tired of my shift, but um, well, at, at least it's Friday, right? <laughs> yeah. So and that means you? you had a, a long day at work. Yes, today it was a long day and tough day too because my uh, my peer uh, he has his day off today. So today my workload increased a little bit. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh. Well, so sorry to hear that. Yes. And what about you? Do you have already your plans for weekend? Oh, well, tomorrow I got to uh, teach a class, then I have to uh, teach another class, then I have uh, a midterm at the university, then I have a meeting, then, wow, I got a lot of stuff for tomorrow. Wow, teacher, yes. <laughs> All of that for uh, Saturday only, right? Yeah, that's just for Saturday. Sunday is something else. Mm, okay. But, you know, let's not worry about that. Mm -hmm. And the classes on Saturday last more time, right? Yeah, a little bit more. No, but uh, tomorrow I'm not teaching a class here. I'm teaching a class uh, somewhere else. Mm, got it. I mean, it's going to be different. It's a different activity, you know? Yes. Uh, the teacher, I have a question, by the way. Do you believe, uh, it could be a, maybe a stupid question, but do you believe that uh, up to today you are still learning new things about English? Uh, like, uh, I don't know how can I explain my idea, but I, I have like that, uh, like the, um, ¿Cómo lo puedo decir? Tengo como el, el presentimiento de que uno siempre aprende cosas. Es decir, uno puede llegar a cierto nivel en inglés, pero pues siempre hay algo de que, no sé. Algo oh, nuevo. yeah, yeah. We always, we are always learning. There's always something new to learn. That's a fact, my friend. I mean, always, all the time, there's something new, something different, something special that we can take advantage of. Mm -hmm. My question was, uh, like, ha have the intention about uh, if you, you know that we used to use certain vocabulary when we have conversations with people, right? So how can you, or how, how could you like give an, Como dar un consejo, an, an, an advice, advice. Of, yes, uh, about uh, how can we change our currently vocabulary, right, to use in, instead of the common words that we learn at the beginning to using like a... Mm, well, reading, reading, having conversations, uh, listening to, to music. Well, listening to music helps and uh, watching TV. It helps. You get a lot of you get a lot of vocabulary from there. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, you watch TV in English, you watch the TV programs, TV series, you watch them in English, and perhaps you want the titles in English. That helps because that way you are watching the situation and you are relating the, the words that you don't know, you relate them to the situation you are watching. Yeah. That helps. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Carlos, very interesting. Thank you for being here. Thank you, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Iriana, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How's everything? Uh, yeah. Nice, very nice, actually. It's been a great day today. Really? Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. So? Tell me, tell me about today. Tell me, it was great, mm -hmm. so I wanna know. Well, in the morning, it was a, a kind of busy morning, uh, actually. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I have a little situation. Give me just a second. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. So sorry, but I'm back, I'm back. So tell me, you were telling me about your day. Yeah, no, it's okay, teacher, don't worry. Uh, well, I was telling you that, well, this week, uh, one of the regional directors came to visit us. So we had a couple of different activities at the office and well, for me, it was, was great and interesting because when we had this, ta this type of visit, the um, agenda is very, it's very different. You know, the, 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 sorry, I forgot the word, the routine, it's not the same. So for me, that's great. Well, after the, well, we, do, we did some things in the morning and at lunch, some of my friends took me for lunch because of my birthday. And we ate uh, hamburgers to, from um, this place, um, Charlie Boy. Oh, yeah, nice. Big ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but delicious. And after that, I just was working on a presentation. I, I'm on a on a on a program, uh, a program that, that the name is Asume. This program uh, is planned by the company, so I have to. I have my presentation next week, so I I was working on that in the afternoon and paperwork. Yeah. And after work, I went to La Gran Vía with my sister. She, she wanted to buy some, some things and well, I took the opportunity and I, buy, I bought some things too uh, because tomorrow is wedding and concert day. <laughs> it's going to be a very nice weekend, yep. That's nice, so, that's nice. So you're gonna have fun this weekend. Yeah. Okay, okay whose concert is tomorrow? 
Alejandro Sanz. Oh, really? Yep. I'm very I excited. I didn't even know. Actually, is his last concert of the tour here in El Salvador. Oh, really? Yeah. He's closing here? Yeah, he's closing here. So I'm very excited. And I hope that 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 maybe some we have some we will have some surprises tomorrow at the concert. Okay, so, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. That's cool that you have the chance to enjoy to have fun like that. I mean, it's not every day you have that opportunity. Yeah. Yep. That's so nice. that was my day and part of my part of my weekend. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Thank you for we asking. hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Maria Alejandra, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Well, you know, here, same old story as usual. Busy, 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 and sometimes busy. <laughs> okay, teacher. But that's the way it goes. <laughs> yes, but in the start of the weekend, and maybe you have a more time for it to expand in your, I don't know, studies or like this. <laughs> yeah, oh, tomorrow, I, tomorrow I got exam at the university. No uh, but you're a very intelligent teacher. Maybe you mm -hmm, have a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for the support. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. What about you? What's your weekend like? Uh, really, I don't have a plan, teacher. Tomorrow I have a day long in... in I don't have a plan for the uh, for the night at night and Sunday and uh, maybe go to the Nomada Pizza in Plaza Soma in Santa Elena. Oh, nice! Uh, because have a event uh, with uh, uh, the other brand uh, Boba and I hope to taste these drinks because I try the last time and when I stay in the uh, in the restaurant and the people say that uh, sold out and I don't have the opportunity to taste <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. You have uh -huh. to take but advantage of the opportunities you have. Uh huh. Maybe I try to, but only that I maybe I uh, in uh, I have a lot of or I, I spend uh, a lot of with that when change my tires and it's so expensive. <laughs> yeah. my that's expensive. You are right. Uh -huh. But only that. I try to okay. stay in the home. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna, you can have fun at home. It's just uh -huh. that it's a different type of fun. Well, thank you very much and welcome. You're hey guys, good. let me get the attendance, please. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. 
Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. Tonight we have time. There's a few of us, so we can talk a little bit more. Mr. Rivas, hello, good evening. How are you? Uh, great, teacher. Great. That's nice. Good attitude. Tell me, how was your day? So it was nice because I was resting a lot. Oh, yeah. Today is your day off, right? Yesterday and today. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yesterday and today. But tomorrow is going to be a lot of work. Yeah, tomorrow and Sunday, too. So sorry to hear that. <sighs> but, Thanks. You know, that's yeah, the well, way it can... goes, right? Yes. So, but I think that probably I can rest a little bit more on Sunday because it's my short day too. Oh, really? That's nice. Yes. Yes. Okay. Nice. Yes. Because when you mean your short day, it means that it finished at what time? Uh, okay. So normally, so my schedule is from seven to four on, on Sunday. But with this, el, New schedule that they provide us so in order to like cover the, the time because there are a lot of calls. So we had to cover so from nine to seven. So I think that if I work on Sunday from night to seven, so I will leave around six because it's the short day is a one hour, a one hour less. One hour less. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. One hour is one hour, my friend. Yeah, that's right. And what matters is that you can relax a little bit and take advantage of that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Probably I can go, go out. So, but, but I'm not sure. Well, let's see, let's see. Let's yes. hope everything goes well. I hope to. <laughs> thanks to you. Yeah. No, thanks to you for being here and welcome. Welcome to you. Okay, let's see. Ada, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. It's a good day. Is uh, was Albert about to return my work from the disability uh, for the structure the uh, uh, my tooth and uh, less pain today is a very very I had to go to work this day there are several important schedule uh, for the surgeries and generally it's a uh, Monday and Friday are like the I like that and Monday uh, the next Monday is a day is a day of the for the it's a sweat or teacher no sé cómo se dice it's a sweat uh, holiday it's a holiday no. for the security. No. Oh, really? It's, yes, it's, it's, it's a sueto for la seguridad social. Oh, that's nice. Yes. And I hope um, the weekend is uh, gone at the moment. I have nothing in the schedule, nothing programmed. 
But in this case, you okay? Normal day for me. <laughs> okay, well, the good thing right now is that we are here. You can relax a little bit. Teacher. And, you know, we are going to have a lot of activities. We are going to be having conversations and you will practice English. That's good. Thank you. Thanks to you for being here and welcome. Let's see, let's see. Francisco, hello, Francisco, how are you? No, mister, how's everything? Just fine, teacher, my work. Okay, oh yeah, you got night shift, right? Uh, afternoon, teacher, afternoon shift. Yeah, you're gonna finish at 10, right? Right, teacher, at 10. Okay, so you're busy. Moment, mm, but I already okay, that's nice. So tell me, what about tomorrow and Sunday? You're gonna work tomorrow? No, teacher, uh, because I changed uh, my shift to the tomorrow. Uh, and tomorrow, uh, I am going to Sunday, uh, I will work uh, all day. Ouch. All day long? Right, teacher. From uh, 6 to 10 p.m. 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. From 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Right, teacher. Wow, that's going to be a long day. But the, the good news. Yeah, but man, from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., that's crazy, quite crazy. But anyway, at least at least you will have a chance to rest tomorrow. At least you will have a chance to rest tomorrow. Right, no? That's nice, that's nice. The plan is going to have a lunch with my family. Oh, that's nice. Right, it's for celebrate more days. That's great. Right? Yep. My my wife, uh, she 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 has to uh, work. She has to work. She has to work. Had had had. She has to yep. work. And tomorrow. Uh, Uh, at noon. At noon, yes. Okay, teacher. Uh, she will finish the uh, work. Well, the good thing is that you have the chance tomorrow to enjoy with your family to share, and that's what matter. I mean, yeah, of course, it's special if you do it on the on the specific day, but if you cannot, I mean. Whichever chance you can have is good. Right, teacher. The, the, the idea. Uh, 
Take advantage of the day. Well, you can say it like that. Uh, you can say it like this. Take advantage of the day. You can also say, uh, make the most out of the day of this day or you say the specific day, okay? But in this case, perhaps the first one, take advantage of the day. Take yep. Okay, well, nice, Francisco. Nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, Dishu. See you. Let's see, Roxana. Hello, Roxana, how are you? Hi, good evening. Well, um, I think that everything is okay. That's great. Yeah, you know, this week was very hard. Because oh, really? I... Why? Yeah, I had a lot of work. But everything is okay. I think that this week was uh, productive. Okay. And maybe tomorrow it will be quiet you know calm. Um, yeah calm i'm work uh, see from 7 to 11 okay but usually on saturday we don't receive a lot of cases so i usually check some reports and con or and dar seguimiento como sería and follow follow up some uh, specific cases and that's it okay well that's nice that's nice and the rest of the weekend um, saturday in the afternoon i have a meeting with my best friend and that's it maybe sunday i lunch i will lunch with my family i will uh, have lunch i will have lunch with my family i don't know maybe in cojutepeque my oh, parents really? cojutepeque. Right. yeah about the view or for the view yeah yeah cause of the view sorry cause of the view cause of the view yeah. Okay. Oh, that's I nice. Think, so you're I gonna have know. fun. Yeah, but I don't have a specific plan for Sunday. Just for tomorrow, work and. Oh. And then with have. My... And then have lunch. That's nice. That's a good plan. Yeah. Excellent, excellent, Roxana. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Jose Wilfredo, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Very so good, teacher. Today was a really relaxing day. Because oh, really? It's, yeah, because I rest weekend, so that's really okay, good. Okay, and yeah. that's the plan for the weekend. So, what you got? Well, tomorrow, uh, I guess that I need to buy some materials because uh, somebody crashed my car, so that has to be fixed and painting. Ooh. And uh, the painter told me that maybe going to finish until Sunday. So oh. I guess that that's gonna be a, a that's gonna be a moving day. Oh well, that's gonna be a, a moving week. No. No? No moving. No. Moving, when you say it like that, uh, it means that it's going to to affect your feelings. Okay. So it's going to be a, a hectic 
You can Hatar. say moved. Hatar. You can say moved. Mm -hmm. You can say like this, moved. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, remember always, if you say moving, you're talking about something else. Like, you know, the other day I watched a movie and it was, some moving. scenes were very moving for me. Okay. That means that they did, they did affect me. Okay. Got it? Got it. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Even though not really, I'm not moved. I am not moved by movies. Not like that. Okay, perfect. Maybe that's gonna be a busy. Yeah, you're gonna be quite busy. Yeah. So, okay, and what part? Okay, what's the car that was crashed? You told me? Oh, uh, the door, the, the back door. The F back door. Ouch. That's bad. Yeah. Well, well uh, those are occupational hazards. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that happens, that happens once in a while. I mean, there's two type of drivers, the one who have collide and the one who have not yet. And do you remember that yesterday I told you that maybe I take away the, some license? Yeah. <laughs> Today, maybe the driver. Today was the day. Yeah. The, the, the driver that crashed the car, maybe that's one of those. Yeah, you know, but you know, you need to be in the street, on the street with the attitude of that accidents happens. Yeah. You always need to be relaxed. And I mean, things are, you can make them up, you can make them back. And I mean, they can get fixed. So those situations right. can be some situations can be mended, but always you need to keep your cool. Yeah, that's right. Because there's always crazy people out on the streets. Yeah. And I, I know that those kind of accidents. So there's any problem. Yeah. But it wasn't Maria Alejandra. Oh, no, Maria Alejandra was riding <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, I remember. Right, Maria Alejandra? <laughs> No. It wasn't you. He goes like, no, 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 it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Hey, it was a good nice having you here. Okay, thank you, teacher, thank you to us. Let's see, am I still missing one? Yeah, I'm missing one, I know I'm missing one. Suleyma, hello. Hello, teacher, hello. good evening. Good evening, how are you? How's everything? Um, I'm fine. Today was a really easy day, and today uh, we had a Mother's Day celebration in my department. Oh, really? Yeah, late, That's... but was really good because That's nice. Yeah, because my coworkers. Uh, give to to us. Um, gave us, gave us, gave us uh, lunch and a oh, uh, gift. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of, um, I don't know if the correct way to say that is representation. It's like a drama. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, a drama. You can say a drama. Mm -hmm. It was really oh. funny. <laughs> well, that's cool. It's great that you had the opportunity to enjoy like that. Yes. Nice. It was that's a nice. long celebration because it started at 12 and finished to 2 o'clock. Oh, really? And then back to work or you got the day off? The rest of no. the afternoon off? Back to work, but only one hour and a half more. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So today, today was, was a, a good day, day for day, you. So it was oh, a really good, good. day. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's great when you get payday. Yeah, must be nice. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't, let me see who did I ever, oh yeah. I remember when I used to get paid like that every fortnight, but it was like, man, it was like 20 something years ago. Wow. Last time I got paid like that. Since then on, I've been paid like every month. So once a month. So I don't remember that well, the sensation, but it's nice. <laughs> it's nice when you get paid because I mean, you start making numbers, you start paying debts, stuff, yeah. bills, utilities. But in the end, you see if you got some extra money and you can enjoy it with your family. That's always nice. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only bad thing is going to a supermarket. I hate going to a supermarket on payday. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of payday. It is awful. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, as you said, it is awful. I try so to like avoid my... that day. Yeah, me too, me too. I, or if not, I go late, very late at night. Okay. Suleyma, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Well, let's see. We got stuff to do, things to do. And we're going to start working. First of all, uh, in the manual, if you remember yesterday, I told you that we were going to be working a uh, little something. Sorry guys, that I have to restart everything here. Just give me a second. Okay. I'm going to present you from the manual for situations, okay? I'm going to divide you or groups. Each situation presents to us a problem, okay? And you will need to give suggestions, options, how to solve them problems, okay? That's what you're going to be doing. And it's gonna be fun because you're going to be participating. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to make four groups. Each group is going to be assigned one of the situations. So we will see, we will see. Okay, let me... Let me share with you guys. Here we go, okay? Okay, you have to write suggestions on how to solve the conflicts effectively using first conditions, okay? Now, my coworker team is always interrupting me when I explain how to carry on procedures correctly, but I'm scared to sound arrogant if I let him know. That's number one. Number two, I don't know what to do. My boss is demanding too much of me in a rude way. And I'm starting to feel anxious when he shows up to monitor my work. Number three, I'm a new manager at a shoe manufacturing company. One of my employees gets aggressive whenever I point that he should follow safety procedures. Number four, I work at the sales department. I made some mistakes in a report and the department missed a good opportunity for investment. The guys from the department are all angry at me. So those are the situations we are facing. Now guys, let's see. Let me check out the group.
Okay. Group number one is Fernando, Juan Carlos, Luis Orellana, Marcos Ayala. You got situation number one. Situation number two goes to Ada, Jose Rivas, Maria Alejandra. Situation number three goes to Eliana, Roxana, and Suleima. And situation number four goes to Ana Claudia, Francisco, and Jose Wilfredo. Okay, guys, you need to give me at least three suggestions, okay? The groups are open and I'm sending you the screenshot in a second, so you can check it out. Please jump in. Hello, good evening. Hello, Fernando. Hello. There's Marcos here. And Juan Carlos and Luis. So you are oh. group number? Number, number one. one. So your situation goes like, uh, oh, your one. situation says, yeah, my full worker team is always interrupting me when I explain how to carry on procedures correctly but I'm scared to sound arrogant if I let him know. Okay. okay. If he interrupts you again, you can, or you will, or you will, that will be an option, will, because you're giving possibilities, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay what do you think, Roman? Uh, we can advise her. Probably the one you are working uh, under pressure. I'm sorry, so guys. Can... Just I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, just remember that you need to give suggestions using the conditional. So your situation goes like. Uh, uh, my boss is demanding too much of me in a real way, and I'm starting to feel anxious when he shows up to monitor my work. If he, you can go like, if he's real to you, you will, because you're giving suggestion. And remember, you're using the first condition, okay? Okay. Okay. About the importance of the safety to avoid consequence. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Remember, guys, you need to use uh, conditionals, okay? Yeah, that's first conditional, right, teacher? Yep, so your group number three. Uh, 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 uh. The manufacturing. Yeah, if he, gets, if he gets aggressive, you would, you should. That's possibility probability okay remember you are using condition okay condition okay oh just ladies here yeah yeah ladies I'm night gone. i'm gone <laughs> that's dangerous make, a make mistake. any mistake she won't make any mistake hi teacher hello 
we are like creating three sentences. Come on, man, man, man. No, what is Come that? on, guys. What is that? What Come is... on, guys. Let me just check on a little something. Let's see. Uh huh. There's Jose Wilfredo and Claudia and Francisca. No, five sentences. Come on. <laughs> I know no, what no, you man. can do. No, no, no. What I'm asking. Uh, we need to provide uh, possible solutions Suggestions. in sentences, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can also use, remember that in the result clause, you can use would. Mm. She wouldn't make any mistake. We can say a uh, boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. We can yeah. say boss. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> if we are making the first one, if she yeah, no, I, I got report, you. I understood you. Make it. Yes, it sounds better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> you understand. That is the, the best. Thing. Yeah, I got you. I got you. No problem. <laughs> Keep on, guys. I'm just gonna be listening. I'm gonna turn on my microphone, but I'm gonna be listening. Okay. okay. I need to monitor. Wouldn't. Okay. She wouldn't. It would be right. She would uh -huh. make any would. mistake. Uh, okay, this will be the first one. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Francisco can hear us. Hello, Francisco. Okay. Hello, Ana Claudia. Hello. Uh, what could be another possible solution in this situation? Give me a, a second. Uh, I, uh, okay. Uh, I'll, uh, just a, a little bit busy. Uh, no, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. We are going to. Yeah. Which other solution you think possible? Yes. Um, I don't send a good report. She wouldn't have. Just remember no capitals, Ana Claudia. Mm -hmm. No capitals yeah. on she. She doesn't need capital. Oh, really? I'm thinking yeah. in Spanish. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Yes, I'm thinking in Spanish <laughs> using capital. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, the second one could be. If she.
Well, it's time to bring everybody back. Hey, mister. Hello, Steven, how are you? <laughs> tired, mister, tired. But I can imagine, I can imagine. You know, when you're driving, if you can connect, connect so you can listen to the class and you can you don't lose the minutes i really try it but in some ways some areas there the the signal is not good yeah that's the reason that's why i can connect everything every time i know i know yeah. but whenever it's possible do it yeah i'm gonna do okay. it don't worry don't worry i take that into consideration thank you Let's see, everybody's coming back in 10, 9, 8. Okay, okay. Let me get the attendance the second time, please. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alfredo Alejandro, Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medías. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Presentation. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Presentation. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Presentation. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Ok, perfect. Mrs. Uh, Roxana de Mejía. Ok, Roxana Iveta. Tell me, Roxana, what did you and your group got for me? What was your situation? You tell me the situation and your classmates from your group are going to tell me the solutions. Well, the situation is number three about the okay, manufacturing processes. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one is if, if you have, or if you made a presentation about the importance of the safety, you will avoid consequence. The second, you should give clear explanation about the process manufacturing if the employees need more instruction about that. And finally, if you are the boss, they should respect the safety process manufacturing. Okay, thank you very much, Roxana, but you were supposed just to tell me the situation and your classmates were going to tell me the, the suggestions. But thank you. It's done. It's done. Perfect. Don't worry. Don't worry. Now, let's see. Next group. Uh, let's see. Ana Claudia, you tell me the situation. Jose Wilfredo will tell me the solutions, the options you got. Okay. Okay. Uh, the situation is the number four. I work at the sales department. I made some mistakes in a report. 
and the department missed a good opportunity for investment. The guys from the department are all angry at me. Okay, the solution are if she reviews the report, she won't make any mistakes. And the other one is if she re if she sends a good report, her team will have a good opportunity for invest. Okay. And the last one is the guys from the department won't be angry if she makes a good report. Perfect. Thank you very much. Oh no, I do got more, I guess, right? <laughs> we only made three teachers. Uh, okay, <laughs> perfect. That's okay. Let's okay. see. Uh, next group. Ada, you will tell me the situation and Maria Alejandra will tell me the options. Okay. The situation is I don't know what to do. My boss is demanding too much of me in a rude way. And I'm starting to feel action when we show up to monitor my work. Okay, perfect. Maria Alejandra, your turn. Uh, and the number one is you will talk with his boss and express how do you feel uh, with the situation. And your then boss. your boss. Okay. And then uh, you will propose a deadline for the different reports um, and then say that you will keep calm. <laughs> okay, perfect. Just one little thing, Maria Alejandra. It was conditional sentences. Um, you were missing the if clause. But anyway, you gave me solutions. That's fine. That's fine. Now, okay. let's see. Uh, hmm. Marcos, give me the situation and Fernando will give me the, the different options. Okay. Uh, the situation is this. And, um, woman say, my co-worker team is always interrupting me when I explain how to carry on procedures correctly. But I'm scared to sound arrogant if I let him know. Okay, um, if, if he interrupting again, uh, you will talk with him after the explanation and, and explain the situation in, in private. Or you can talk during the explanation uh, in a good manner that you avoid some arrogance. Or you can talk with your boss before the situation. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, mm -hmm. Juliana. Hello, good evening, Jose Wilfredo. Hello, good evening, Juliana, how are you? Hello, great, great, actually great. I, I want to uh, ask you something. Okay, tell, tell me, me, tell me, if it rains tomorrow, what will you do? If rain? If it rains tomorrow, what will you do? Will you type your, your question, please? If it rain, if it rains tomorrow, if, it's rain. if it oh. rains tomorrow, what will you do? Uh, maybe... Well, I have a lot of things to do, but in that situation, maybe I could sleep late. What do you do? You what time maybe you you go to the bed if it rains? Uh, maybe eleven a.m. Eleven a.m. Yep. Go to the bed. To, at the no. 11 a.m.? No, no, no. Oh. I stay on the bed. Uh, oh, my God. Just existing in the bed or sleep? Yeah. And sleeping. Maybe I will 
uh, wake up like 10.30 and then um, I go out to the, to the bed like 11 a.m. Okay. If it's raining. If it's raining, actually. Yeah. But, and after, what will you do if, if it's still rain and you don't want to be in bed anymore? Well, I have to take a shower, then I have to uh, use one umbrella and to go out and then uh, I have to make uh, some shopping uh, because I need some uh, uh, some how do you say that the word let me see I don't remember how do you say that in Spanish right Estos On what? repuestos? Parts. Parts? Yeah, parts. Okay. So, spare, uh, yeah, car parts. Uh huh. So, I have to buy some uh, car parts uh, because I don't know if maybe tomorrow the, the mechanic gonna going to start to, to, to fix my car or until the Sunday. Okay, that's nice. And the problem with your car, it's too bad? Uh, no, no, it's a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. But oh. that's, that's what I make if it's raining. Okay, that situation is just is if that, that. Thank rain. you, guys. <laughs> Very well done. Excellent. Thank you, Elena. Thank you, Jose Pedro. Sure. Now, Ana Claudia, your turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, Fernando. Hello, Fernando. How are you doing? Um, I can complain. <laughs> Good. I remember you told us in the past that some days you were working at the office and some other days you were staying at home. I don't know if nowadays you're still working from home or do you go to your office weekly? Um, I'm working in a special of, of in, a, in a kind, sorry, in a kind of mixed schedule. But I don't have a, a, a specific day to 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 working from, from home. If the same, depending on the situation. Ah, so you go to the office during the week? Uh, yes. yes. Ah, okay. And if you arrive late to work, would you be fired? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not because um, it's in, in my case, it's, it's usual because oh. I <laughs> because I commute every day and I and I travel to Santa Ana, to San Salvador every day. Oh and God. in the morning, it's complicated. You know, Los Chorros is very, very hard. Um, at least one time I wait, I arrive late at home, uh, at work, sorry, mm -hmm. at work. But um, my, my boss, uh, my boss knows the situation. Um, always I, I'm, Inform him. I oh. inform him during because I know when when I will arrive late because I see the time and and I I am in around Lourdes at six a.m. Mm. I know I know that day I will arrive late. My God, I was communing in the past and. Being at that time in Lourdes is like you arrive around eight or eight thirty San Salvador. Yes. Oh, Sorry to yes. that. So it's uh is uh, normal. It's part of the normal situation nowadays that you arrive late, right? Uh, yes. Um, it's considered, but I, in, <laughs> no, it is normal because uh, <laughs> I mean I, because of the traffic jam. <laughs> Yes, yes, but my, my boss is comprehensible and 
and uh, uh, he he knows. And sometimes I I like what can I do in this situation? And I I had my my laptop and my backpack. I turn off. I turn on, and I work from my cell phone because yeah. you know I am in the bus and I cannot leave my 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 computer from my backpack. But I connect from my cell phone to my laptop and my backpack, and I work from in the bus. Oh my god! I just can't imagine. Well, yeah, because I I had to present Sandra mm -hmm. at first time. Okay, thank you very yeah. much, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ana Claudia. Thanks to you, Ana Claudia, very well done to the exercise. Just one little thing, Fernando. Your boss is understanding, okay? Understanding, okay. Yeah. I had that question too, because I heard the word. No, comprehensive, what is yeah, it? But, yeah, but it doesn't apply like this. In this uh, case, it's understanding. So my boss is, how can we say my boss under, is understanding? Yeah, my boss is understanding, you know. My boss is pretty understanding whenever I send, I have a situation. We go like that. Okay. So understanding in that case is used yeah, like, like Yeah, it's used like that. Like, you know, I am not the very understanding person when it comes to, to late arrivals. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Can use it as a subject. So, no, like a... Hi, uh, Albert. No, what's the name of those? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> I got the idea. Thank you. <laughs> it's an adjective. Adjective. That is the word. Thank you. Don't worry. You know, I had to make the sentence in my mind and follow the order of the words. <laughs> ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's see. Thank you, uh, Roxana. Hi. Did you check what I sent you? Mm, not mm. really. I oh, wait. Really? Okay. Well, you know, Roxana, uh, there is a problem here. And the problem is that, you know, Stephen is just arriving from work. He's been working and he hasn't had time to go out. I mean, he's been like, he had lunch like at 12 at noon and he's just arriving to, to his, the place where he's going to sleep at his hotel and then you go, Roxana. Again. <laughs> Steven, you're gonna ask Steven. Okay, uh, let me see. Steven, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Okay, hi, good evening. Well, the first one is, where will you go eat if you get hungry? Uh, it's the band. Sorry, I, I should have to use some grammar <laughs> or is your talking? No, 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 no. It's just regular conversation, my friend. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Roxanne. Can you repeat it, the question, please? Where will you go eat if you get hungry? For example, okay. when you are and at work okay okay it just depends because i know all the time okay. stay at the same place uh right now right now sorry i'm in uh, santa cruz del quiche tomorrow maybe i could stay at the capital and it's the pen but i hate no maybe maybe i love the junk food but i try okay. to avoid it because it's obviously, I don't, I don't like to be too fat. <laughs> and you it's very difficult. Healthily. Uh, I try, I try, but it's really difficult because I, uh, maybe I don't have too much time to do exercise, to eat by the best way possible, but I try. I try. The best possible way. The best possible way, thank you. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, when, for example, when you are um, at the office, do you have a, a specific place to visit at lunch? Yeah. <laughs> the, problem, the problem is I, I never been in an office. 
uh, could be the office, could be my my project when I when I stayed. Yeah. You need to move all day. Yeah, every single day I changed by my job, and uh, today I can stay in one place, tomorrow at another, and it's the pain. It's the pain. I don't I don't have one exactly choice. I just can say if I move to where my family live, when I on my vacation or some weekends, I try to eat uh, Salvadorian food, like pupusas. I really enjoy it. I, I like the pupusas and I miss them. So I try it a lot. Okay, Man. so do you usually when you uh, are working, <laughs> you need to buy whatever you have close to you. Mm, sorry, I can't listen to you. When, when you are uh, working in your places, you always are, are looking for uh, whatever place to eat. Yeah, you don't have anything yeah. to you don't prepare your lunch. No, I can't because I always live in a hotel. And I, first of all, I don't have the time. Second, if if we are talking about a hotel that can give me a kitchen, uh, it's really hard because I, I don't have the time. So I always uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I had to buy it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did you have money? The company, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well, he's got an allowance. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Very well done. Okay. okay, who's next? Suleyma, you're next. Okay, let, let, let me let me read, please. Um Juan Carlos, are you there? Hello, tell me. Okay, if you are available next weekend, will you go to the mall with me? Uh, yes, of course. I like to uh, go out on weekends. Okay, and uh, where do you want to go? Uh, to be honest, I am um, open to whatever place. Uh, I would prefer maybe mountains or uh, some place that has that that has sorry a, a good view. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and do you want to uh, go uh, to the theater or do you want to go to eat something special? Uh, when you say special, what what do you mean? Uh, for example, tacos, pizza, Chinese oh, food. I would I, I don't know what you prefer. <laughs> but uh, if yes, I would prefer seafood if we are talking about food. Oh, any kind of seafood. Uh, What's your favorite? My favorite shrimp. Um, my, como puedo decir, mi, mi menos favorito. The least. The least favorite will be maybe a caracol. <laughs> oh, oh, shell. No, no, no. Caracol. Um, I don't remind the name. <laughs> I just remember sopa de caracol. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. The word is snail. That's the S meaning of caracol. Yeah, S N A I L, snail. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you guys. Okay, now you're going. Back to going groups. Uh, 
And you got a situation. The situation is this. If you were going to a desert island and could only take three things with you, what would you take and why? Okay, so right now start thinking. You are going to a desert island. Uh, you could only take three things with you. What would you take? Why? And, and in that island, the only people have, who's going to be with you are the ones from your group. Okay? So what would you take, guys? You will tell me what would you take as a group and why? Okay? So that could be if the group is three persons, three, three objects per person. Okay? So you will get a bunch of stuff. Ready, guys? It's a nice situation. We will have fun. Let's see. Let me just check. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. I need to do something with here. Okay. Groups are open. Please jump in. Everybody's in line. I need to leave. Oh my Water. gosh, just Francisco going to an island with these ladies. We are in problems, Francisco. <laughs> and um, let me see. He's lucky. <laughs> How do you say uno contra todos, Fisher? I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe. How do you say uno contra todos? Yeah, once against all. Yeah, yeah, you know. You are not going to be able to take to make any decision there. <laughs> okay, DJ. Okay, guys, you need to think about three things, all yeah. of you. Okay. And you're going to tell me why, okay? Like if you decide to take a knife, why? Yeah, big knife. Okay, why do you need it? Mm, because maybe you need to uh cut some plants fruits yeah. or maybe shelter, for, for doing for doing a kind of house shelter shelter, shelter to cover to cover about against rain or the sun yeah that's that's the word shelter refugio. shelter shelter Okay, and um, I don't know how is it. Um, I guess mm. Mm. the last one. The last one. <laughs> I think about about the last one. What about you, Michael or Ada? Uh, um. I I think I you know water, food, lot. Well, you are an, you are a doctor. A first aid kit is mandatory for you. <laughs> yes, that, that's hey. a good news for us. We have a doctor. Yeah. Hey. Uh, why? Well, because we a thing. I uh, why to survive, no? Yep. Yes. A medicine teacher. <laughs> Some medicine. Some medicine. Some medicine. But, but it's when our, our only three things. Okay, or or we can okay. we can take a I don't know, a backpack with medicine. <laughs> and it's kind of like one thing. 
Two with one still. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You? Uh, okay. Uh, in my case, I will uh, bring with me. I will carry with me a fire initiator to make no, 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 some fire and a machete. And I think it's got a presentation. Um, and what else? And perhaps uh, something to cover, to cover me um, at night to sleep okay. and protect me from, from any monster. Okay. I had my, my last one, uh, sleep bag. One sleep bag. Okay, Marcos, you just you said uh, fire initiator, something to cover you at night, and what more? Machete, un machete, creo que sí. I think that's the correct pronunciation. Yeah, okay. Machete, machete. Okay. Sorry, guys. Tonight has not been my night with these devices. Okay, we will be prepared for, for a comeback. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, Ada said we need a shotgun. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, uh, Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos said. Well, you know, the problem is that a shotgun, once you run out of ammunition or ammo, <clears throat> you are in trouble. Yeah, yeah, teacher, but at least I will have like uh, one um, mag <laughs> that will protect me for a, a while, right? <laughs> uh, well, you know, a good shelter, a big machete, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> I, suppose, I suppose that we will have to hunting our food. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Juan Carlos said he he takes with him, with him a fish rope. A fish or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good point. Okay, guys, what are you taking? Tell me. Anything. I decided to die. <laughs> No, Stephen can explain you. Well, you know, Stephen can help you. Stephen can help you build a shelter. He he can can, can tell you what that we are we have similar uh, way yeah. of thinking. It's interesting because each one have just one idea, one different idea. Okay. Yeah, because we both think about the water. In night, okay, but the different, uh, but the different uh -huh. was Maria Alejandra talk about a rope, something like that. Okay, guys, but it's three things per person. Yeah, yeah, Mister. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you think if we together go to the same deserted island? Yeah, you are going ah, as a group. We oh. thought we were alone. No, 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 <laughs> no. We have too much water, Stephen and Maria. It's as a group, <laughs> Mister. So we had three knife, three bottle of water, and at that time, right now. But I got it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. You gotta change <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Come on, guys, I told you, you are going as a group. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay, sorry. I'm so sorry, Steven. Oh, we... You are going with these two ladies? Oh, my God. <laughs> There's no decisions that has... Your decisions are none. <laughs> so, uh, no, so we have the three things that Steven mentioned at the beginning, the night, water, and the other was a uh, match. Match. Right? Match. Okay. And then we have from Maria. Mm. Uh, Lena uh, told us that maybe she take a knife, a 
pedernal. It's like a kind of stone to make fire. And Green a big stone. Oh, oh did you? Flint stone. Flink. 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 Ah, flink. Flint. The meaning of flink stone is a stone or, or that kind of, of rock, but or not. Yeah. Yeah, flint. Actually, it's flint. Ah, uh, flint stone. Yeah, because if it's Flintstone, it's, that's the Picapiedra, you know, the program. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was confused with that. Yeah, we are talking about exactly Flint, okay? Flint. Mm, okay. That's the um, Okay. And Suleim also said uh, uh, that she takes a big bucket or a big bottle to carry water. Okay, and please. Roxana. Let it be Johnny Walker. <laughs> Big bottle, but to get, to get water from the rain. Ah, that's cool. To catch the, the water to drink. Okay, okay. What else, what else? Tell me. Well, Roxana, take food. An umbrella and a book. Roxana, an umbrella? Yeah. <laughs> we need to survive. No. For the sound teacher. Or maybe I can change I can change the umbrella for a tow uh again. Okay. a towel? For a towel? Man, after two months, you're going to be with no clothes. <laughs> but, you know, I can use in the floor and dressing. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, well, in my case, teacher, I take a fishing stuff to okay that's cool fishing stuff a hammock for sleep okay. sleep and a lance or a big knife to chase animals okay yeah machete helps hmm. excellent it's yeah in francisco. Let's go back. Oh, in francisco francisco yeah I guess Francisco is almost closing his chief of the company. Uh, well, uh, I think my case, uh, I choose uh, a knife um, uh, to say to share. Hey guys, but there's a knife already because you are going together as a group. <laughs> You're going together as a group.
let's see, let's see. Tell me, guys, tell me, tell me. From the groups, okay. Mm -hmm. Marcos, tell me about your group. What will you take as group? Okay, um, my group will take with, with us, um, for example, uh, medicine kit. Okay. And, um, a shotgun. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. To, to what else? Cure. Any, any other more and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Um, I said um, cooking pot to boil to boil the water will be very useful. Um. A uh, fire initiator. Um, uh, okay, something perfect. to cover to cover at night. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Eliana. Tell me about your group. What will you take? In my group, we will take. A knife, okay. these animals, Flintstone, Flintstone to make some fire at night, and to maybe build a, a fire to build a fire to build to build. Okay, thank you. To build a fire at night, a, a big bottle or a big bucket to to save water when when maybe the the day turns a uh, rain. Rainy, or something like that, or for carry water, you know, from the, I don't know, if a, if an island. So I think that maybe we have some water around. Uh, we also take food, a book for reading, fishing stuff, uh, hammocks to sleep, and a lance or a axe or an axe to chase animals. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Very well prepared. Okay, Steven, tell me about your group. What you got? Uh, let me remember because I forgot. Okay, uh, knife, sleeping bag. Okay. Uh, big, a big bottle of water or something to to save water. Um, something to create fire, to build fire. Um, what else? What else? Help me. Put <laughs> um, can. Exactly. In mm -hmm. the yeah. shelter tent. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent, guys. Now let's see. Fernando. Yes, teacher. Okay, Fernando, you are in the English class. Tell me, what will you do if you get bored? Uh, what? 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 Sorry. What will you do if uh -huh. you get bored during English class? I review the platform. And okay. I... <laughs> oh, you know, the answer was so fast. I guess it has happened to you. <laughs> no, no, no. No, that, no, that's not happened, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, I'll try to believe you. I try to believe you. Thank you, Fernando. Now okay. let's see, Marcos. Hello, teacher. Okay, tell me, what will you do if you feel lonely? <laughs> okay, good question. If I feel lonely, I used to listen and sad song to feel more lonely. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Listen to a sad song to feel even more lonely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> thank you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Roxana. 
Hi. Tell me, what will you do if someone phones you during the English lesson? Mm, I can't respond. Uh-huh. Yeah, yesterday. I, I, yeah, I, I, yesterday, yesterday uh, my best friend was calling me during the class and I avoid the virus chat. I, I don't know. Reject. The, I reject the, the call and I send a message. Uh, we can talk later. That's cool, thank you. Okay. okay, Mr. Rivas. Yes, teacher. Okay, you are downtown San Salvador. You are going to the central market. What will you do if your wallet is stolen? What? <laughs> so... I will come back to my home How? immediately. Your Sorry. wallet got stolen. Mm -hmm. No money. You're walking. Mm -hmm. And they stole your wallet. How do you go back home? Oh, uh, yeah. So actually the 14th, so I will ask, ask for someone oh i will choose someone to to ask for money <laughs> okay perfect yeah difficult situation right yeah okay now let's see let's see Ian, you know you just moved to to a new neighborhood you are living alone okay no okay so you're living alone, you're on your own, you got a nice house, and you got your furniture, everything you ever wanted. But that's a problem. You don't know the type of neighbors you got. So tell me, what, what will you do if your neighbors annoy you? Maybe just ignore. Actually, I, I, that's, that's the, the action that I take with my neighbors. So my neighbor, one of my neighbors is very annoying and I just ignore, ignore her. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay. Now, Steven. Okay, mister. Okay, you are in another country, you are working, and you find one restaurant that says Salvadorian food. And you feel very happy. You get in and you order your favorite uh, dish. Now, what will you do if you don't like the food? <laughs> Actually, that, that is a real story. Obviously, when I hear, I looking for pupusas all the time because it's, it's the only dish that I that I miss. And when I found some place, uh, it's, it's even interesting because in so many restaurants they say Salvadorian pupusas. You don't say pupusas. They try to buff like a Salvadorian food, but it's really annoying because it, they don't have the taste from our country, you know, and I try it in a lot of places and never, no one can compare with the kind of pupusa that we, 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 we eat in El Salvador. So you really suffer, my friend. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, well, thank you. Okay. Okay, Jose Wilfredo. Yes, the truth, tell me. Okay, Jose Wilfredo. You just rent the most beautiful ranch at the beach for one weekend 
complete weekend. It's a beautiful view, close to the beach. It got all the amenities you want, okay? A big kitchen, big refrigerator. It's stuffed with food. Everything is perfect. Now there's a problem. What will you do if it rains? I will enjoy the place too, because if you use the pool or if you go inside the pool, you will wet. So if it's rain, raining you will buckets. Wet. It's raining buckets. <laughs> well, I don't know, teacher. Maybe I wait that the rain and stop. Okay, well, thank you. Let's okay. see, next one, next one, next one. Maria Alejandra. Hi, teacher. Okay, Maria Alejandra, you just moved to a new house, right? Yes. And, and you are alone. There's nobody with you. What would okay. you do if you feel ill? Um... Maybe I throw a, I call for my father and say that he could buy me a, a pills for like this and try to stay home. <laughs> and I think that only that. Or I. I buy a pills in the in online or to call at the uh, drogeria or to the drugstore. The drugstore, uh huh. And waiting that the message to to give me for my house or uh huh. Maybe I think that. Okay, well, that's fine. Thank you very much. Hey guys, uh, thanks to you all. I hope you have enjoyed. There was some people missing. There was missing Ada, Francisco, Carlos, Suleyma, but don't worry. Monday, I got more questions, more situations. And I hope you like this way of working. If you got any comment, uh, if you would like me to change something to get you something different let me know okay because the idea is for you to practice that's what i want you you practicing if you feel that it's not working that well for you let me know because i still get some different ideas some different situations of stuff that we can do uh, next week we are working with the with the manual a little bit but before i forget Okay, let me see. Uh, Jose Wilfredo. You got a presentation on Monday. Is next month, Monday? Yep. Okay, excellent. Jose Wilfredo goes Monday. I will prepare a good tap. Excellent. Maria Alejandra, you go Tuesday. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Francisco, you go Wednesday. Perfect. Mr. Rivas, you go on Thursday. Okay. And for Friday goes Suleyma. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys. Let me get the final attendance. I know you are tired of the of the week and you want to rest. 
Ok, let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Present. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medías. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Marcía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Here. Suleima Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, let's see. Francisco, you go for Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for being here. I know it's a big effort for you. See you Monday. Have a good weekend. Enjoy it. Thank you, teacher. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no concert. No concert. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no concert. It's yeah. not good. <laughs> Bye, Bye enjoy. Teacher, night. Take care. Whoopsie, I have somebody assigned for tonight, but that person didn't come, so we're gonna be waiting. Well, nobody stayed tonight, but we're going to wait a few minutes to see if someone commits.
Well, the time has come. We'll see what comes next weekend. More conditional sentences, more activities to work on. 
Have a good weekend, everybody. See you Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.